Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Visio. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Visio is a drawing tool, enables you to create uh, flow diagrams, all sorts of different types of diagrams that you can then use um, and share directly from Visio or insert into other applications. So Visio is now available for the browser. So historically it's been available as, a, as an app you can install on a PC. Um, but now it is available in the browser. So how do you access it? Well, you can access it via the nine dots. Click on the nine dots and you'll find Visio is there. If it doesn't appear there, then you can access it via the all apps. So when you log on initially and open up Visio, you'll see your recent Visios. You can see any shared or favorites. You can obviously search for existing ones that you've created and you can see you can either create a blank drawing or you can access one of the many templates that are available and you can view all of the templates by just clicking more templates and it will show there's a whole wealth of different templates um, and there's also a create a blank drawing at the top there as well so uh, let's start by doing uh, let's go for basic flowchart so I think this could be really useful uh, maybe getting students to sequence something or if you want to demonstrate um, how something is done. Um, it could be the activities that can be done in the lesson and you want to share that with the students. You're sharing that structure of the lesson. You could use it for this. So having opened up, we've got our toolbox and we can search for various things within our, our toolbox. So icons and shapes and we can add additional features. So it's opened up the basic flowchart shapes. We click plus, we can add other shapes. So if you're involved in maybe teaching in English or maths, you may want to add something to do with maths there. And um, we've got arrows, we've got all sorts. Um, if you may be doing something around student voice, you could use call outs. So you can just add those by clicking add and it will add those tools so that you have those things available. So let's start by adding some shapes and we can just drag and drop some shapes there. You'll see as you roll over um, a shape, it will allow you to um, bring up an arrow and then you can choose what it's going to connect to. So it allows you to, to start to form your, your diagram or whatever it may be. You can add a, a shape and you can work your way through that. So that's quite a nice feature. Uh, and you can keep working your way through as you go. So that's how you can grow it. So you can either do it via that method of using the green arrows and determining what it is you're going to connect to next. Or you can just simply pick up and drag and drop the shape that you want. Just like in Word, you can change the, the theme colors. So you go to themes, you've got some preset themes there which you can apply. And if you go to theme colors there, there are sets of themes again, which you can apply and it will apply that to the whole palette of tools that you're going to use. Connectors wise, if we select a connector, you can see the, the types of connectors. You can change that to a curved connector if that's what you want. If we go to view, um, You've got uh, a reading view, which will just give you a preview of, of, of how the, the finished document will look, which is nice. Go, go back to edit. And then if we go into insert, we've got sorts of things that we'd expect. So you could add images into your flow diagram and you can search for stock images like just like you would in Word. You can insert text boxes And there's a really nice feature that you can rotate the text. So having added text in your text box or added text within your shape, you can rotate the text around uh, all the way around 360 degrees. So that's a really useful feature as well. Um, so you can align the text so it appears in your diagram as you wish. You can alter the font just as you'd expect. So we can double, double click the font uh, and choose the font and we can alter the size of that as well and just as with word you can alter the alignment um, so it appears where you want within the shape left or right 
and you can alter the color and it will show colors related to the theme that you've chosen or you've got your standard colors. So I've got a very autumnal theme here, um, but you can, you can move that around. And just as you can in Word, you can move stuff forward and back if you wish to arrange uh, elements within that. So there are all the different things you can add and we can go to the arrows thing and the same sort of thing. We can choose and just drag and drop elements that we want. And we can, picking up the handles, we can alter the, the shape and move them around to where we want them to be. So that's using the shapes. When you're finished, you've got a choice. You can go to save as, and you can save a copy online. You can download a copy as a Visio file. You can download a copy as a PDF, or you could download a copy as an image. So I think where this would come really useful is you could download it as an image and then insert it into a PowerPoint. Now I know you can use the insert sheep, sheep? insert shape feature in PowerPoint, um, but I think this just gives you a bit more flexibility and allows you to create slightly more complex diagrams. So you could use it to insert, um, having downloaded it as an image, you could then insert that image into any of the other office documents. Um, if you wanted to collaborate, then you can also do that. So you've got the share feature and it's just as you'd see in, in the other office applications. You can add the email of the person you want to collaborate with. Uh, you can give them edit rights or just you can give them view rights and you can determine that just as you would in Office. So there you have it. It's um, a really useful tool. As I said, I think it could be great for enabling you to create complex diagrams, um, either to show uh, colleagues or students the flow of how things are going or, or structure or it could be just as a way of highlighting um, the different components you're going to cover in the lesson just to set out your thing so I can think it'd be used in lots of different ways um, uh, if you I hope you found the video useful if you did give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more edtech videos thanks for watching